Okay. Um, three point two day three. Um, some more about natural and common logarithms. Common log is one of the bases uh, one through ten, um, and natural logarithms is base e. Common logarithms. Um, if no value is stated in the base, so like if there's no number right here, you just assume that it's ten. Um, so, for example, log base, you don't know what, of a thousand is basically having a 10 there. So if you set that equal to a question mark, it would be 10 to what power equals a thousand, as I've stated here. And the answer is 3, because 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is a thousand. Uh, what would this one be? Log base 10, even though they don't tell you it's 10, of one tenth equals what? Well, 10 to what power equals one tenth? as stated here, well, that would be negative one. Ten to the negative one power is one tenth. Um, natural logarithms, again, that's just the same as log base e. This and this mean exactly the same thing. Ln of x is log base e of x. Um, what is e? Well, e is basically a, a horizontal asymptote uh, where uh, these values get uh, closer and closer and closer to. Um, it's uh, about 2.7. It's just a number. We talked about that before, what E is. Um, all right, so you have a button on your calculator you uh, can use, um, but just remember that this and this are the same thing. You're going to need to know that because sometimes we're going to change it from this form to this form because we need to use that base. Okay, here's the only example that I have for the day. The percentage of adults uh, height attained by a boy who is x years old can be modeled by f of x equals 29 plus 48.8 log of x plus 1. Approximately what age, what percentage of his adult height has a point has a boy attained at age 10? So if we substitute age 10 in for x, our function looks like this. And we can just simply use our log button. Again, the calculator knows it's base 10. So we're going to punch in this log of 11. And we get 8. that. And then if we multiply those two numbers together, we get 50.8199. 6304, and then finally we add 29 to that. So 79.81, Okay, now um, it says approximately what percentage of adult uh, of his adult height has he attained? Well, I'm gonna round that off to the nearest percent. 79.8 is approximately 80 percent. So a 10-year-old boy has achieved 80 percent of what his adult height would be.